and permanent mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, those ribs towards your spine and up, lengthen your whole spine. Shoulders back and down. Spread your toes, close your eyes. Take a moment to focus inward. Follow the breath in, drawing in awareness. And as you exhale, let the stress and tension go. Just keep that inner focus as we warm up. Bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out, but keep the shoulders down. Exhale your hands to the heart. Inhale out to the front, and then clasp your hands behind you. Press the fingers to the floor and the heart to the ceiling. Spread your toes, stretch your head back. Feel the whole body in the back bend. And then exhale, pivot at your hips, and drop over. So deepen as far as you'd like to go, bringing your hands up and your head down. Move your chin around, the neck releasing. And then with the chin slightly in and the knees slightly bent, start at the bottom of the spine, wind your way all the way to the top, and another back bend. So heart eyes, toes spread, head reaching back. Take a moment, don't lift your chin too high. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feel your body. Spread your toes and lengthen your spine. And again, arms at shoulder level. Hands to your chest, stretch in front. Keep the shoulders down and then clasp your hands the opposite way to lean. Lift your heart and stretch again into a back bend and then pivot on over. Again, lifting the sitting bones, stretching the back of your legs. Moving around, letting everything release any tension. And then once more, knees slightly bent, working all the way back up and heart wide. Drop your shoulders, stretch your head away, and don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, release. Take a moment, feel your spine more activated. And we'll do our side stretches next. One hand down, the other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, and over the shoulder. Stretch the hand out and lean no twist over to the side. So make sure your shoulders both face the front and you're reaching one hand sliding down, the other one stretching along. Push the foot you're leaning away from down, get those ribs stretching in front. And then inhale your way up and release. Bring the other arm out, palm to the ceiling, and over your shoulder. Push away and lean to the side. And again, stretch through the top of the head down into the foot you're leaning away from. Feel those ribs stretch. Make sure you're not leaning forward. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale back up. And release. Feel the sides more open and stretch your spine apart for our final warm up twist. Shoulders back and down, arms at shoulder level, palms up and over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows gently and bring your arms next to your ears. Sitting bones down, crown high, stretch the spine and exhale to either side. Take a breath, spread your toes. Exhale in the twist, all the way over. Spread your toes out, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms next to your ears, and keep the weight on both feet evenly. Take a moment and breathe, and on the inhalation, come on up. Work your way to the top in the twist, into an upper body, pulling the way back. Remember, gentle on the low back when you're twisting. Lower elbows back, lift your chest up. Take a moment, just feeling your body. Inhale upright again and switch to the front. Switch your arms, stretch your spine, and exhale to the opposite side. Another breath. Exhale in front. 
Arms next to your ears. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Lift your sitting bones and spread your toes. Feel your legs. And then work your way up in the twist into that upper body back. Chest high, stretch your edge. Take a few breaths, just lengthening your spine. And again, inhale upright, exhale around to the center, arms up, palms out, and pivot with your arms at your hips. Stretch it out, lengthening and dropping the leg. Take a moment there, really stretch your spine. Hold your big toes with your middle and index fingers, or put your fingers under your toes for our gorilla pose. So elbows, knees, and spine as straight as you can make them, stretching it. And then release your hands, tucking your chin, bend your knees slightly, and again, wind your way all the way back up into your mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe, just feeling your body a little bit more activated through the spine. Stretch it apart and we'll twist side to side for our wind now. So just follow your hands from one side to the other while you stretch the top of your head toward the ceiling. Spread your toes. Make sure you're not gripping anything. Just let the sun get a little bit more work going as you turn all the way toward one side and then the other. And as you come back to the center, just take a moment there. Feel your body, relax your shoulders, and bring those arms in close to your ears. Be that stroke, like swimming. And let the whole body move so that you're not just moving the shoulders, but the whole spine works too. Get those shoulders circulating. And then bring both arms up. Stretch one side, how I come up on your opposite toe. Stretch the flat on the side that's stretching open through the ribs. Really reach that hand toward the seal. Come down, and then inhale, bring the other side. And again, lift the heel, just coming up onto the toes with the whole bottom foot, stretching down as that hand goes up. Stretch three ribs through the side. Exhale down. Let's do it again. Stretch up. Exhale and release. And stretch up. And release. Both arms up. Extended now. Take a moment there. Shoulders, shoulder blades down. Ribs in and up. With that core supporting your spine. Sitting bones down. Take a moment, sink evenly into your feet, up through the crown, through the fingertips. Feel that extended mountain. Just take a breath or two. Feel the arms, feel the body. And then bring the arms out and down behind you. Clasp them, press the palms together, and push the hands down as you raise your heart. Then stretch your head slightly back. So feel that chest area open right across the heart. Lift it maybe a little higher. Keep those shoulder blades going toward your waist and your head reaching away. Sink evenly into it. And then chin slightly forward and stand back upright. Release into mountain pose. Take a moment, feel your spine. And again, arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands into extended length. Shoulder, shoulder blades down, ribs in and up, sitting bones down. Again, extending through the head, through the fingers. Take a moment, breathing. Feel your body. Exhale any tension. Just keep lengthening through the whole spine. Take a moment to breathe. Feel the chest, feel the shoulders, let them relax. And then again, palms out, coming down, and clasp the opposite way behind you. Palm um, again together, and down 
toward the floor with your fingers. Chest lifting, head reaching back, another little back pin. Spread your toes, no gripping. Make sure your hips are above your ankles. And don't forget to stretch your head back and your back. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Take a breath, feel that back bend. And then again, chin toward your chest, coming back up into mountain pose. Take a moment feeling that area across your chest and shoulders, and bring your hands to your heart. Look at the hands, inhale them toward the ceiling, and look at your thumbs. Again, coming into that upper belly back bend, and swan dive this time, palms out toward the sides, pivot at your hips, stretch it out, stay there a moment breathing, and then drop into red. Take a moment hanging, just breathing. Pull in deeper with the hands behind your calves if you like. And really stretch that back of your body. Tuck in your chin, bring your forehead closer toward your legs. And then release and wind your way once more back into mountain pose. Take a moment there, feeling that spine even more stimulated. And let's work the lower body a little bit. Feet together, bend your knees toward, not beyond your toes, hands above your knees. Remember, no pressure in your hands. Just let the shoulders stay above your toes. And then moving your knees in a circle, just let the lower body get a little bit of activation. So moving your feet, moving your knees, moving your hips a little bit, rotating your feet slightly side to side, just feeling what's going on through that lower body. And then stop and go the other way with your circles, balance things out, always in yoga. So make sure that you're not going beyond your toes, no overworking your knees. Take a moment each both, relaxing into it, feeling your hips and your feet and everything in between. And then stop, come to the middle, find that spot out in front, spread your toes, no gripping, come onto the ball of your foot area, lifting your heel, find your balance, breathe into it, stretch your spine apart. Lengthening everything. And then roll on your feet back and forth. In your toes, ankles, arches, everything working even more. And then releasing from that foot and feet here for the part into mountain pose. Spread your toes, sitting bones down, ribs in and up, shoulders back and down. Everything aligned, just sinking evenly into your feet. Pass your hands behind your back, or fingertips up between your shoulder blade. Press the palms together, coming into that reverse prayer. If that works for your wrist signals. Take a moment there, just feel your body, or just clasp across the low back. And then bend your knees slightly, again, not beyond your toes. And circle your hips, putting that full lower back area as low as your legs, knees, ankles, supporting. So just keep those shoulders as even as you can, feeling the hips work, the belly move, the legs and knees and ankles and feet. And then stop and go the other way. Again, just balance things. Relaxing through that whole lower body. Breathe into it. Feel your hips. And then release back into mountain pose once more. Oh, that's to our balance practice. So spread your toes, get the balls of your foot on your balance foot really connected, not the toes. You never grip the toes, that gives you less support. Keep the arch lifting, keep the whole bottom of the foot connecting, 
ankle, knee, hip, shoulder, lined up. So remember, you may need to roll that thigh in, making sure the knee is going toward that second toe in. And then sink into that foot as you activate the core. Keep the shoulders back and down and the head reaching up and bring your other foot up. You can come just a little if you're balanced challenged today, or you can be near the wall even. And bring the foot up. So bring it as high as it wants to go, knee toward your heart, and circle your ankle. Both ways. Make sure your ankle stays flexible as you balance. And then straighten your foot out with a flex point or two as you bring the foot back down, switching to the other side. Again, check your alignment. Make sure everything lines up. That core is active so that your support spine stays supported and the weight is evenly into the balls of your foot and heel as well as the whole bottom of your foot. Sink into that side or in the other. Remember, you can keep it low while you're circling the ankle or you can bring it up all the way towards your heart or your arms around your thigh or your shin and pulling that leg in if you like. Don't cross the leg over, so remember you may need to roll that thigh in also. And again, circling the ankle, getting it working as much as you can. And once again, flexing point as you release. Take a moment as you get back into your mat pose, just feeling your whole body. Take a moment, exhale tension, hands to your heart. Look at your hands. And again, inhale up, lift your heart, not your shoulders, stretch your head back slightly, pull those thumbs back as you gaze at them. And then exhale, pivoting over. Come into your ragdoll. Tuck in your chin, lift your sitting bones. And then slide your hands up under your knees for a halfway up stretch. Elbows, knees, spine, everything straight, just working the whole body. Stretch it out. Lift the ribs, stretch the sitting bones and crown the heart. Shoulder blades toward your hips. And then bending your knees, come into our child pose transition. Seeking your hips back toward your heels, hands next to your feet, and shoulders down. Bring your forehead toward the floor as much as it wants to go. And then just relax. Feel that whole back of your body in a forward stretch. And exhale. And then inhale, coming into stand position. Sit up, bring your legs out to the front. Heels pressing out, toes pulling back, knees and toes up. Take a moment, getting that core supporting your spine, shoulders right above your hips, and crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment as you're there, we'll work the neck a little bit first. So bring the chin into that throat center, stretch the back of your neck. Take a moment, just breathing, relaxing. Remember, no need to overdo it, but bring your hands one at a time to the head for a little weight, not pressure. So just grab the weight and let that intensify the stretch a little bit, but don't push. Pushing over does things, so just be not pushy. Take a breath. As you exhale, just let everything go. Relaxing. And then releasing your hands, bring your chin back upright, and lift it up just a little so you stretch the front of your throat. Get the shoulders relaxed. Take a moment and breathe. Move your jaw around. Stretch the throat. Crunch your face. Feel your teeth. And then bring the base of the skull back up and the chin forward. 
Take a moment, feel your whole neck area as we tip an ear over for three seconds. So feel the stretch on the opposite side. Take a breath or two, just relax it. And then the side you tip toward, the hand comes up for weight, not pressure. So just let that stretch intensify a little bit on that opposite shoulder, neck area, as the head comes over. So remember, both shoulders stay down, just relaxing. You can bring the hand that you're chipping away from down to the floor for a little push. If you want a little more stretch, don't overdo it. Take a breath, just relax. And then release your hands, take your head upright, feel the difference, and do the other side. Head toward the side, just relax it. Make sure both shoulders stay down. Keep that core supporting your spine. Keep the head up, even though it's tipped to the side. And then bring the hand you're tipping toward up onto the outside of your head for that extra weight. And the hand to the floor if you want for even more stretch. Feel it intensify, but don't go too far. No pushing with that hand. Just exhale and relax. And of course, you can hold it on your own longer, but release the hands for now, tipping your head back upright. Take a moment and breathe, bringing your chin into the throat center. And roll your chin toward the shoulder, up toward the ceiling, doing our circle to the middle, over to the other side, down to the shoulder, rolling back to the center. Roll it around that circle once more. Just feeling the whole neck area, getting its rotation all the way back to the middle. When you get back to the center, just pause and go the other way. Shoulder up, cross to the middle, over, down to the shoulder, rolling back to the chest. Just slowly again, going through that circle. Breathing into it, with it, lifting the heart just slightly as you tip the head down. And that chin to the chest. Tip your head upright. And again, just feel your neck even more activated as we get to this thigh bar dolphin. Put right foot to the inner left thigh, knee out to the side. Just those city rounds if you need to. And bring it. Left knee to the front heel next to the hip. Remember, don't sit on that heel. Let that hip be just slightly up so you can twist. Stretch up through the spine, keep the core activated, the shoulders relaxed as you exhale. Turn toward the right knee the first one they get. Ribs in, tuck the chin, exhale, lie under the water. Remember, you are the dolphin. As you turn your face forward and lift to the sun in the sky, breathe in, feel a little back bend as you come up. And again, round forward as you dive under. And splash your playful dolphin all the way up a few times as you go through your range of motion. And the next time you come to the top, pause, exhale, turn to the center, releasing your legs. And we'll do the other side. Left foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side. Bring the heel back near your hip, not under. Stretch the spine apart. Remember, we're twisting as we exhale and turn toward the left knee. Ribs in, tuck it, chin in. As you draw your forehead, exhale and down. And inhale your way back up toward the sun and the sky. And just take a few moments breathing, diving your dolphin as playfully or as gently as you want and need in this position today. <clears throat> and again, when you get to the top, we're releasing, exhaling to the center, releasing your legs, and shifting into the end of the mat, coming into step position. 
as we roll onto the floor for our course relaxation. So bring your body down, relaxing those shoulders to the floor, bring your head around, make that neck release, exhale any tightness. Take a few breaths, just softening your belly, sinking your whole body, letting it grow heavy, sinking into the earth's work. Take a breath, let everything go. As your body relaxes completely down into the earth, just let everything relax, including your awareness of your body. As you release thoughts of your body, just letting it relax on its own into the earth embrace. Allow your thoughts to release, floating away. As other thoughts come to your mind, just let them drift away, knowing it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. Let me to think of the past or plan for the future. Just let the thoughts drift. Allowing your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And just take a few moments focusing inward. Finding that peace within. Feeling your body and your mind and your being only with peace. Keep relaxing if you have even longer to play. I think it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Begin stretching your body gently, however feels good for you. Moving your hands, your ankles, neck, your shoulders, everything. Breathing, breathing and stretching. And when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, heels towards your hips, knees up towards your head. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate it's yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side and sit back. Getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.